It's something about getting to the point where you understand that being at your best is not working harder. Being at your best is taking a moment to rest and replenish yourself. Release some of the expectation that you have to be out in the world striving. My name is Karen Pittman. I'm an actor in The Morning Show and I'm just like that. I think I first figured out that I wanted to be involved in some form of self-expression when I was very young. It was my way of dealing with emotional challenges that I had. As a child, I was pretty sensitive. I was very young when I realized that self-expression was not just a way for me to process my feelings, but was it was a gift. My parents, very early on, were instrumental in me understanding that mental health is equal to physical health. I pour out a lot into my characters, pour a lot out into my families and friends and the relationships that I have every day. And so the areas upon which I decide, okay, I'm gonna fill my cup back up are really, really important. Bringing a certain element of spiritual work and mental health into my life helps me manage stress because it really is about replenishment. Listening to a powerful speaker or reading a beautiful book or going into nature and explore that idea of specifically in the Black community and the African American community. How can we raise sensitive, empathetic human beings who care about other people through the mechanism of caring for themselves? I think that's really, really important. That's where the professor sits. I am the professor. The question around representation and what it means to see an African-American woman doing well, happy, joyful, but also challenged. I just know how important that is for the audience that looks just like me. To live in my purpose is to create characters that women relate to, that the audience relates to and says, hey, I can see myself in her. We are all just people who want to do our jobs, do good work. That's what I'm going to focus on. Nia Jordan and Nia Wallace are two very different women. Both of those women, I think, are parts of me. Nia Jordan has a good bit of melancholy when you see her on camera. Whereas when I was doing, and just like that, Nia Wallace and her life is open, gregarious, excited. So many of my characters uh, inhabit, embody my personal mantra, which is there is more common ground between us than there is separate ground. So it's really important for me in these diverse spaces to show these characters in spaces where there are a lot of different people around them, but they're still holding their heart in their hand and saying, let's start to try to see if we can also find common ground.